Now, the home appears to be empty, and investigators have been going in and out of the house since before sunrise. And the woman who actually lives here is in the hospital right now, being treated for gunshot wounds. And as for those who know her, they're finding out, and sadness and confusion is setting in. Oh, my God. I can't even believe this. I am in shock. It's Christmas and Rachel, she does nothing to anybody. She's such a good person. Shock and disgust from neighbors and friends of 55-year-old Rachel Owens, a Londonderry woman whose house has been surrounded by police all day. This investigation stems from a shooting in Saco, Maine. Police say it happened at Owens' friend's home early Thursday morning. Someone broke in, waking the homeowners, Stephen and Carol Shabbat. Stephen was shot multiple times. His wife was not. But Rachel Owens, who was visiting and asleep in another bedroom, was also shot. It's just unbelievable. It just blows my mind that she would be the victim of this. Paul Dubai lives across the street from Owens' Londonderry home. He describes her as a wonderful person who was friendly with everyone. Dubai says he spotted an unmarked cruiser parked outside Thursday, and overnight things got even busier. And last night they had, uh, you know, a SWAT vehicle over there, and it was quite a big Klieg lights, you know, the big lights that you see on the highway for construction yeah. at night. Um, you know, it's not something you expect to see here on a dead end street. In Londonderry, New Hampshire, you know. Neighbors say Rachel lives at the house with her husband Greg, and together they have an adult son. Police are not saying where Greg is. I just can't believe it. I mean, she doesn't have an enemy in the world. Her best friend of 40 years says the news is devastating. I can't stop shaking. I just, I don't know. I can't even fathom why someone would do that. Now, police on scene have said very little about what they're doing here today. However, they said last night they were here watching to see if anybody came in or out of the house. Now, although multiple agencies are involved in this case, Londonderry Police Department says that right now they do not have any charges pending in this case. Reporting live in Londonderry, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9.